Hey everyone, Wolf81TX here, and today I want to talk to you about children and firearms. It's a pretty hot topic around the country these days, and I believe it's rightly so. It's a topic that I don't think is touched on in the right way, and it's not... People aren't being educated enough in children and firearms. Owning a firearm is a very big responsibility. Having children and owning a firearm is an even bigger responsibility and it's one that you can't take lightly owning a firearm just you yourself means that you have to be aware of your surroundings you have to be aware of your firearm and its condition and you have to be aware of your ability to use that firearm now when you add children into the mix you also have to take in it's like throwing in a wild card that you don't know what's going to happen they're curious they're going to seek that object that they're curious about they're going to find it and they're going to play with it the only difference is this isn't a toy and when they're playing these firearms can kill them and it's happening far too often so what you need to do is you need to educate yourself first and foremost on firearms and children. Then you need to educate your children on firearms. Hiding the gun away is not going to make them more safe. Matter of fact, it's going to create a more dangerous and hostile environment. If you hide that gun away, that's just going to make them curious. So the minute your back is turned, they're going to go looking for it. So educate them about the firearm. Show it to them. Teach them how it works. Teach them what it does. Teach them what it can do. If you do that, then already the likelihood of an accident happening will already drop. Now, once you've taught them that, let them use the firearm as long as it's one that they are physically able to use. Under controlled circumstances that way it takes the mystery out of what a gun what a firearm is when you're storing your firearm please keep them locked keep the firearm in one location keep the ammunition in a separate location locked up as well if you think you need to do it Disassemble the firearm. Take the firing mechanism out of it. Store it in a separate location as well. That way, if they manage to get to either the gun and the ammunition, they still got to get that third piece in order to make the gun work. You do this, your likelihood of an accident happening goes down even more. But if you keep the guns locked up and the children understand that it's something that they don't need to mess with until you are around you're probably gonna be a lot better off than some people now I know some people don't live in the best of neighborhoods keeping a loaded firearm around is probably advantageous for their family safety the thing that needs to happen in this circumstance is if you need feel the need to keep a loaded firearm at ready, make sure that loaded firearm is on your person at all times. Never, ever leave a loaded firearm avail where a children can get children can get to it. If you leave it tucked underneath your bed, under your pillow, uh, in a holster, hung in the closet, whatever, the children are going to get to it, and bad things are going to happen. Remember, you are the only safety that gun has. You can some guns these days have awesome safeties. Tossum, Taurus has probably one of the more unique ones that is actually pretty awesome where with a special fitted key, 
it disables the firing mechanism. Well, even though it does that, I wouldn't put all of my faith in that safety. Things can go wrong. Maybe you didn't set it quite right. Maybe the safety fails. That's not a chance I'm willing to take. I don't have any children of my own. So you can say I know what I'm talking about. You can say what I don't know what I'm talking about. But I will tell you I do love kids. They're the next generation. And I want to make sure that generation is a good one. If they don't know their rights, if they don't know how to use and how to treat a firearm, what's going to happen to the country? What's going to happen to the next generation after that? Are we going to be like places in Chicago where the death rate, the death toll every day is extremely high? Is it going to be in a setting where it's almost like in a movie? Just because people think they can run around shooting guns at each other? I'd rather that not ever happen. I'd rather my children know how to use a firearm. I'd rather them know that it's for defensive purposes, no matter what classification the government wants to put on it. That's my take on it. This is my opinion, and I believe it's the right one. One of the things that sparked this was I recently read a few articles about children and guns and accidents happening. This, these principles need to not only be applied at home, but they need to be applied outside of the home. If you go on a camping trip, and by all means, I understand that certain areas you want to take a gun with you to protect yourself against bears or whatnot in the wilderness. That's actually a noble thing to do. It's a great thing to do. Not only that, when you're out with nature, there's no better time to take a few shots. But an unattended firearm and children on a camping trip is a recipe for trouble. Same with tucking it under the bed. Guys, just don't do it. If you take a loaded firearm and you just throw it on safety, let me go ahead and show you what a safety is all about. Okay, 1911. Cleared. This gun has a few safeties on it. It has a hand safety where the gun will not fire unless you have a grip on it. It also has a safety right here that you can click up and it's not going to fire. All it takes though is that going down then you can fire it. But hey, all right, you've got to press that in. So it seems like a pretty safe gun, all right? Nine times out of ten, children will defeat those two safeties by accident. I have another gun. It's got a great safety on it. You, for those of you who haven't seen my review on my 44 Magnum, look it up. The safety on that particular gun is awesome. You can cock it. As soon as you pull the trigger, it stops it halfway and locks the gun up. You know what? I call that an actually pretty good safety. It's a little bit archaic, I guess, the way it works, but it works. You know what? Even that, a, children, a child can accidentally get that firearm to work. Just because they're curious, they're going to be touching it, and... They're going to be seeing what's going to happen. They will accidentally trigger those safeties and disarm them to where that gun will be fully operational. If you have a gun that doesn't have any safeties except for the trigger pull, guess what? You just took all that away. So that means that they are that much faster in order to get a shot off. I might be sounding a little condescending. I think this is a really good subject. I think it's a really 
it's one that people don't pay attention to enough. So I think it's an important one. I urge you to at least, if you don't take my word on it and on the things I've said in the video, go look up another set of rules and follow national guidelines, if nothing else. Mine are a little more strict, but follow those guidelines. Remember, if you have a loaded firearm, I don't care what anybody else says. If you have a loaded firearm in your house, make sure it's on your person. Remember, you are the only safety. Any of these other safeties don't matter. So, I hope you learned something in the video. If you didn't, I hope you can at least agree with it. And I also urge you to please share this video. Share it with your family, with your friends. And I urge them to share it as well. Get the word out there so that people can educate themselves and their children. We do that, we're looking at a safer America in days to come. So, y'all take care.